Hi everyone. Assalamualaikum. So I'm going to continue about knowledge presentation and this time going to look into semantic network. So what is semantic network? Semantic network is actually a method of knowledge representation using a graph uh, made of interconnected uh, nodes and arcs. Semantic network are excellent in supporting system analysis, demonstrating changes and show in inheritance relationship. So let's look at the example. Okay, we have a semantic network of a bird. Okay, uh, the bird is an uh, object. And this object have property that is wings and fly. So what can we interpret from this? Is a bird has wings and it can fly. So the bird has wings and travel by flying. And then we have another object. Uh, object which is canary and this canary is linked to another the object bird and the relationship is a uh, so we read it as canary is a bird so since a bird has wings and travel by flying so we assume the same for canary so canary we also have wings and fly using the network the system knows not only the object and their properties but also the uh, hierarchy and the inheritance. So let's expand this network. Okay, we add Twitty here. Okay, Twitty is a canary. Okay. Uh, and then we also have animal, uh, whereby bird is an object from an animal, and animal breathe by air. Okay, so try and read uh, this semantic network okay and please look also about the penguin okay whereby penguin travel while walking not flying so that's why penguin will have their own uh, travel and walk object so how about inheritance in semantic network Okay, it's like an object oriented whereby you can see the inheritance between the objects. Right, so from this network, okay, let's look at the first case. Okay, user asks bird. Okay, oh, I actually ask the system, how does a bird travel? So the system will look into the info with the uh, network, semantic network graph, and you will have the bird travel by flying. So if the network has been expanded, okay, we can ask how does Twitty's travel? So infer again with the graphical representation and we know that Twitty is a canary and canary flies. Okay. So how about the exception handling? Okay, there are a few things. Uh, how how do we handle exception? Okay, by uh, explaining or intro introduce uh, an object uh, repeatedly for each object whereby they don't inherit uh, from the superclass. For example, the penguin travel by walking rather than flying. Okay, since the first note uh, looks lo locally for an answer to a question an answer of walk is provided to a travel question posed to the penguin so if you ask canary or bird they won't get out by walking okay so this is an exercise uh, for semantic network okay and this is the advantages and disadvantages of semantic network. Okay, uh, can advantages we can use deductive reasoning or inheritance, and it show important association uh, between objects clearly, and follow the hierarchy of relationship easily, and it also provide flexibility in adding new nodes to be defined when needed. However, disadvantages uh, is not a complete knowledge representation and lacks of operational knowledge. We cannot also represent uh, procedures or the importance of steps in semantic networks. 
Okay, so look into the exercise that I will give you in the open learning. Uh, try to do this before you continue with the uh, third video lecture on object attribute values. Thank you.